Hey, how is everyone? Lou from RV Habit. Today I'm going to talk about RV labels. And you know when you first get your RV, there are 50 labels. Everywhere you look, there's another label telling you caution, warning, and you pull most of them off because they are ridiculous. And the ones you do leave on because you think are important, well, they begin to peel and get all scratched up after a year. Uh, I also have four slides in this RV and None of the slides are labeled. I just have four slide switches. And even after owning this RV for three years, I always hit the wrong switch to move the, the uh, slide. So I want to label everything. I tried those P-Touch labels. You know, you print them out uh, and, you know, they self-stick. But after a little while, they begin to peel off too. So I ended up getting some engraved labels. These are the labels I had made, and I had looked for a local company to do this for me, and the, the one local company I had found literally wanted a fortune to, to do these. And I went on the internet, and I found a company out of South Carolina that does them right online. There's all different sizes and types, and you just put in what you want, the colors you want. And literally 12 hours after I placed this order, I got an email that they had shipped and they were at my door within three days and each tag only cost between two and three dollars. They were totally, totally reasonable. So I got a few to label my slides because I always get confused what button does what slide even after the time I've been here. I always, always get it wrong. I had the height for my rig uh, printed out on red. I'm going to put that on my dashboard. These are for the outside. I don't know if you could see them with the reflection because they're, they're going to match the outside of the rig. And uh, they even come with 3M tape on the back. So, I mean, you can't beat this. And they'll even make them, look how small they made this one. I needed a real small one to fit on my dashboard over a switch I made. And I'll show you how we're going to put them on. Uh, but I'll leave information to the company and everything on my uh, website on a blog article. I'll leave the link below. But let's put some on. This is in my bedroom and you can see I have two slide out rooms and believe it or not I always get them backwards. So I'm going to put the first two tags here and let's see I'll just peel this 3M tape off and try and center it. Now I did check Believe it or not, what slide does what before I'm doing this. And just kind of make sure it's centered. Looks pretty good. Give it a little press. And now I won't make a mistake. And I'll put the other one on. Don't want to press too hard. I'll go right through the wall. Good old RV construction. And there you go. I, I won't get confused anymore. Let's do the other ones. Installed this button here in my dashboard for some night lights to light up the cup tray when I'm driving at night. And I couldn't fit a standard button label here that they had. So I had them print up this really small one to just kind of go in here. Now I cleaned all the areas where I'm putting these with some alcohol prior to sticking these so I know they get a good bond. This one might be a little difficult for me because it's so tiny. And that's my last one for my potable water. And that 3M tape that they include on the back, it sticks very well. These are not going to fall off. I think it's a great solution instead of those self-print labels that always end up peeling off. And now this looks, you know, it looks factory. I'll leave all the information to the website I got this from on my blog article on my website. I will leave a link to that website below in the description. But as always, thanks for watching. I hope this helps.